Hello and welcome back to Cud Buzz with Galen. Woo! Woo! Hopefully, uh, hopefully our internet will do a bit better. I it yes, it could do worse, but it, it could most be worse, likely yeah. can't do worse. Uh, it held out for the most part. All right. So, um, did we? Did we install our glitter, the, that glitter skin? I do believe I have little shiny feet now, yes. You have shiny feet, kind of like a, uh, a hobbit meets a vampire. A very specific vampire, yes. That makes sense, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it didn't make my feet any bigger. Are, do, hobbit, do hobbits have big feet? I thought they just had tough feet. Uh, it depends if you're going Lord of the Rings or most versions of D and D. They don't specifically have big feet because that's a Lord of the Rings thing. All right. Um. So there's a door there. Why don't we mm -hmm. very carefully examine that door? We're going to do a couple of things. I mean, we can look at it. Um, that probably will not give us very much information because it'll probably say bizarre contraption. Oh God, what is happening? Discord, you're really pushing my tolerance here. Yeah, bizarre contraption. Um, Oops. Discord just like did a annoying thing. It's fine. Okay. It's fine now. All right, so we're going to examine it. Um, if you walk into that tile, then something will happen. We don't want that something to happen necessarily. So we're going to go up to it. And um, I think the easiest way to do this, actually, you can try use, but I think the best or better way is to look at it and then interact. Yeah, and then we're going to examine. And we're just going to do that again and hope that we understand it. Contraption as the Shazor Moon Gate. That's a good one. I like that. Moon Gate. Um, I'm not going to... Oh, capacitor low. We can recharge that. How much does that cost us? Oof. Okay, we... A bits. We I don't... have four. <laughs> we don't want to do that. That's bad. Okay. Um, this is something I like to do uh, in most of my playthroughs. Can we, uh, let's, let's jump out of this. Uh, what is that spinning thing to our left? It, it seems to be requiring power. So I guess it's not a power source. Bizarre contraption. Industrial fan. A okay, fan. yeah. Should have done that one. Um, can we look in our, uh, inventory for just a moment? And go to miscellaneous. Okay, cool. We have wire strand. That's the important thing. Um, let's, uh, go back to the fusion reactor and, um, see if we can't repair it. I guess you don't know repair yet. So we could apply some fix it spray foam. Why don't we do that? Also, I'm going to do a quick pause here if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, this is some fairly advanced cud stuff. We don't need to do this, but it's fun. Let's go to our applicators and um, do fix it spray foam on the reactor. We're going to apply. I think we can do that. Um, maybe not. Maybe it only lets us apply it to something nearby. Oh, no, I can. Oh, you um, can. Oh, nice. And... Yeah, beautiful. I have to actually do it, but. Well spotted. Covered in sticky goo. Um. Do we happen to have a chair on us? Where I'm, I'm gonna be? If we do, I have like super advanced. I think we. I made you disassemble them all. Did make me get rid of the chairs. Yeah. All right, that's my bad. Okay, uh, we're gonna need to examine that thing again and hope that we don't break it. Yeah, there we go. Fusion power station. Now it is active and it is fixed. So um, we have two of the uh, you know several boxes checked here. Um, so what we're going to do is make sure that it's connected to the doorway so it's providing power. Um, so this is a... I wish this was a little bit easier to do, but it's actually a fairly recent um, th 
thing was cut. Oh, that water is really not what we wanted. You are spreading it everywhere. <laughs> we 100% don't want all that water. That's good. Um, I don't think it'll actually hurt anything, but I'm really not sure. Um, so what we're going to do is go like southwest one. Yeah, perfect. Go to your wire in your inventory. Yep. And now go to deploy wiring and you're going to, um, basically draw a line. You can only do it in your proximity. So it's like, you know, within your three by three tiles, but you're going to draw a line and you're going to like bring it up to that fusion reactor. So from our like west to, you know, east, uh, you'll have to like click to start wiring and then yeah, exactly. So like that, but you know, we'll, we'll need, we'll need all the wires. What, what is, what is happening? No, there's lots of things happening right here. This is, this is very good. Yep. You don't have to, uh, necessarily like connect it up as long as it's adjacent to a tile, it'll be connected. There you go. We're getting there. Oh, I see. I see what's happening. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. And then we just want to make sure that those two are connected up and you'll also notice, um, we're not going to worry about that yet. You also notice that the, there's like a very broken connection. Um, like you might've noticed that there's a little bit of wiry wire south. Um, and in fact, the connection seems to go into the wall. Uh, there's every, like, there's evidence to support that the wire actually goes through the wall and then connects up to that fusion reactor. But I like to do it this way because I don't know where, you know, there might be connection breaks in the wall and it's really hard to figure out where they are. So it's just easier to do a new, um, you know, connection, if that makes sense. Mm hmm. This is uh, some fairly advanced um, CUD stuff. What is... I think that that is a broken connection, maybe? Or... Yeah, it seems to be a broken connection and it's not doing so well. We might want to, like, redeploy some wiring there. Oh, it's broken. So you could... Um, you might just go, like, south one and then break it manually or try and redeploy um you could do like a i don't know that, that fixed anything but no it didn't seem to why don't we get, you could do like a do like go like southeast and then do a command attack on it just to get rid of that wiring it, well, you, it'll hurt you a little bit but it, it's it's not gonna kill you you have to hold control and then do uh southeast hold on hold on there you go one more, a couple more. There you go. I don't know. I might that might have made things worse, actually. <laughs> all right. Know. What? Yeah, let's get rid of all of that. And um. Oh jeez. Hmm. I have to wonder if uh, those connection breaks are, are. We're making them like worse. Okay, that actually looks okay. Why don't we try and uh, connect those up now? I mean, it's still zapping, but um, it might be okay. I don't know. We could just try and bypass it completely. Ah, oh, man. Oh, that's that's really annoying. I've actually never encountered that one before. Broken. Attack. I don't know. Um, I think the best thing I could, like, maybe if we had the repair... Uh, skill would be easier, but I'm not suggesting we take that because it's really not worth it for that instead Why don't we just um, like bypass that break completely? We'll just like wire around it to make sure that the door is connected at the very least Fun with wires I am NOT an electrician Yeah, perfect There you go now let's uh, just check the door to make sure that it's got a full capacitor now. It says use, so it's definitely getting power. Um, 
so we're good there and if we wait a few turns we might see that the uh the capacitor is actually filling up none of this is necessary but it's it's a i, I like the the door these doors are some of my favorite things okay those i guess that is causing a problem hmm interesting okay i've learned a thing but it, it at the very least the door should have a full capacitor no okay wow all right let's let's abandon this <laughs> if we get repair in the future then we can come back here and, and fix all of this it's a little bit unfortunate that um those broken wires can cause so much damage um it might have enough power now but uh I, I, it doesn't matter. We weren't even going to use this now because we want to. We want to go back to probably either Grit Gate or Dropa to set a checkpoint. Walking through it now would be very dangerous. Okay. Okay. Where is my? It'll be in tools. Mmm. Used chem cells should be enough to transport you. All right. Probably um, we can also buy some more wire from Argive at some point. Um, I I'm still not going to spoil what the door is, but we'll come back to it later, maybe. When we're better prepared. It's like it's a gate to the moon. It's a gate to something for sure. We're famished. I should eat something. Probably, yeah. We can't. Uh, I, I think I think what we're going to do at this point um, we didn't get anything particularly good from Rusted Archway. I, but I, I don't think we can really delay too much more. I, I think Golgotha is, is upon us. Um. I have some stuff I should unload. Yeah, you could probably sell your nylon body pack. They're really good, but you have, um, those, those, uh, reinforced wings are really nice. So, uh, unless you, like... The thing about the nylon body pack is it's kind of all or nothing. Once you start using it, you you can't really stop using it. Like, it gives you extra capacity, right? So it's really easy to get used to that extra capacity, and then you're you're suddenly just always using it. Do I need anything from this guy? Mm, nah. Oh, ugly, it's a douches. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. We could probably buy those silver nuggets after we sell all of, all of our stuff. My recommend... Yeah, we're we're going to want to sell the uh, translucent skin, for instance, because those are five pounds. Um, we'll want to sell the flaming steel vine reaper. I... Like, I was going to say, um, that Skillsoft Plus is really tempting. Um... If you were interested at all in trying pistols over rifles, it would be uh, kind of totally free to, to use it once we get some more uh, higher license. Um, when you install cybernetics, it doesn't it doesn't like spend your license points. It just that that's your license points gates what how much you can have, right? So you're free to like install something, try it out, see if you like it, don't like it, uninstall it, that's fine. Um So but uh yeah, we'll 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 need and want some more license points before that can happen. Alright. So what do they got? Anything good? Not really. Nah. Yeah, let's just let's just buy those uh nugs. Yeah, I mean Many. you've got a lot of water, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Goodbye, Mafio. Alright, so you are headed to um like it is it's very much a defining moment for a lot of people when it comes to Caves of Cud. Um up until this point I don't know. How would you describe the experience for Caves of Cud? Uh, I didn't like the part where my head kept exploding, but I feel like I solved that. Yeah. By getting better. <laughs> By getting better. But, like, 
you know, for the most part, um, you know, we've gone on a few adventures. We've technically gone to two dungeons, right? Because we went to Rustwells and Red Rock. Um, mm -hmm. But it's it's been kind of like a very, I don't know, I wouldn't say chill, but it's it's most, mostly been like a, a dungeon crawl, right? Go to one ruin, kill some stuff, loot some things, grab some stuff, get out. It's all good. Um, maybe it gets spicy, but it's a uh, it's also we've been mostly dealing with the, the you know um procedural generation of cut and i mean golgotha is also procedurally generated but in a very different way so we're gonna we're gonna head up there i do it would be good if we had wayfinding but that's fine um you looking at the spindle that's in our future the if this series uh, goes long enough we will eventually make it there I, I do hope that that is in the cards very much. You got you got super lucky, and I'm so glad for you. More than a willing spirit. So we're gonna wanna right. we're gonna wanna fully explore this tile. We're not actually in Golgotha right now. We are just on its tile. Um, this is the entrance to Golgotha. Ba da da ba da da ba da da ba da. Oh. oh. Uh, Chitness Puma. They can be kind of a, a problem early game, but um, you're more than a match for them now. I'm trying to remember where that song came from. That was a uh, that was from a Simpsons episode, wasn't it? We got a slumberling. As long as we don't bug the slumberling, they won't bug us. Hopefully, there's nothing else on this tile that will bug them. The worst uh, thing about a slumberling is. Um, Generally speaking, anything that is uh, not on good terms with bears will just like go and poke the bear. I'm not even kidding. And uh, wake up the slumberling. And then the slumberling will immediately flatten that thing in question into oblivion. And then the slumberling is awake. And they generally speaking don't like you unless you're on very good terms with bears. And so then they will flatten you. <laughs> um, they're a nightmare. Okay, so um, are you kind of getting a sense of what we're in for here? I have no idea. All right, so that door up there is a pink access key. It's That is the highest security that a door can have. We can't get in there. It's, it's blocked for sure. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. spoiler alert even if we got in there it wouldn't really be helpful to us in our current state um i mean there's ways around that actually i mean like well I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna teach you how to cheese golgotha on your first playthrough that would be un unfortunate um so you have four little um i don't know what to call them entrances those are all shafts and I know we said, don't go down shafts, but in this case, we don't have a choice. You have four choices of, of entrance. You can arbitrarily choose. It's, uh, there's not really any evidence to support one being better over another one. Um, we're just gonna kind of hope that, um, you know, we get the right one. And uh, yeah, welcome to Golgotha. This is a, this is a fresh hell nightmare. I, I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to look around. You are currently on a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt will actually push you forward. Um, there are traps. You just saw what uh, the traps do. In those cases, I think they spew out acid and the conveyor belt will actually carry that acid. Um, you might also want to pay close attention to the kind of liquid you're sludging around in because it is unlike anything else in the good green world of cud um how do i get past this acid uh you well your choice is to take some damage or to uh, hold back a bit but you are currently uh, in the line of a trap so uh basically getting to the bottom of golgotha is um a series of compromises. You you can't get down there unscathed, so you're probably going to take some damage. All right, there's our next um, 
shaft. Honestly, a very good first floor of Golgotha. Now you might want to... It's a good practice. Um, the traps in Golgotha can vary, so we might want to have a look at what those traps do. Fuming vents. Okay. Gives us a gives us a clue as to their thing. Um, that's a really nice, very quick second floor of Golgotha. You're you're getting obscenely good luck so far. I I will let you know that the traps, generally speaking, will um, light up before they before they you know do their thing. Good information um, to watch out for. We've got some glow whites. Kind of looks a bit pinker in nature, but I guess it was a normal glow white. I think that's a full right hammer. Can we have a, f a quick look at that? Or is that a carbide hammer? Ape fur cloak. Ah, carbide hammer. Okay, never mind. I think it was just a little bit sludgy. All right. Good, uh, good choice. Staying off the conveyor belt for a moment. You're good to walk through that trap. It's, it doesn't seem to be lit up. Those robots, I don't think, will be aggro to you. So we'll just continually want to go down holes. There's never any doors. No, it's just holes all the way down. Good, good idea. I think you're potentially your more immediate danger is actually the traps above you, but they're not lit up just yet. Good choice. Very good. We might, uh, oh, I guess they are aggro to you. You didn't do anything to them, right? Not that I know of. All right, we might as well kill them. I'm pretty sure that'll that'll be free XP. They're, they're pretty easy to kill. I did a bit more damage to you than I expected, I won't lie. Can we do a quick pause here? Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, we could do a rest real quick. I, um... You wouldn't necessarily know this, but I, I might recommend... No, you're good, actually. I mean, you've lost your effects of gooey, sludgy, oily, all that business. Um, so you're actually okay for now. I know it's tempting to go down that shaft below you, but you're actually... You've rolled quite well with um, acid traps, and the other ones can get, you know, much more dangerous. Yeah, sparking vents are actually much worse. Um, you might guess what they do. They spark. They do spark. So far, so good. Uh, now that thing is a little bit nasty. You do have a pretty good tool for dispensing it, though. However, it is a pretty good ranged creature. It's doing some nasty damage. You might actually want to take it on melee. Just because, like, the option to stun them would mitigate your damage. You're definitely going to want to rest before you get down to the next floor. This is uh, also the soundtrack for Golgotha is one of my favorites in the game. It's uh, real good. Nice. Okay, okay. So, you have passed... Um, one of the hardest tests for Golgotha, and now um, we are in the second portion of Golgotha. <laughs> um, your goal is actually to your southeast. That thing right there that you're about to look at, yeah, that scrapped wage droid, that's what we want to complete our quest. We need to go and get that. But there's something you really need to watch out for. Um, you can kill those. Those guys are you know, easy enough to kill. Um, not a big deal. We so far haven't encountered any slimes like the ones to our east. No, no, no. Before you take any step, that pink creature southeast, do you see it? The gooey agol maggot? Nope. Southeast of that, even. That's the one. Log of the cloaca. A colossal slug, known as slug, presides over its fetid domain of the cloaca. Well, we're in the Golgothan, Golgothan cloaca. That's fun. Uh, Mollusks love it. Jopa villagers hate it. Servipad villagers admire it. 
And villagers of Korobor, they hate it, but they want to be it. Go for its build, Sphincter. Um, that thing, this is its lair. The slog is, is a truly heinous creature. Um, we don't want to be anywhere near that thing. It's got ranged abilities, and not only ranged abilities, but like, it's 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 bad is like the really the long and short of it um but we still need that way droid you do have enough distance to it that you might be able to get away with grabbing the one southeast of you and then escaping or you could try and fight it but it is tough you're gonna try and sh uh, shoot it yeah oh interesting i forgot about your draw bead that's a good idea Sure fire. Now, just so you know, when you sure fire, any of the abilities that you use um, for the bows and rifles will unmark it, so you'll have to mark it again. And there's actually some creatures in front of you as well. Um, you did. I don't know if you did any damage to this log. You're taking some nasty damage right now. There's a lot of things coming after me. They are. Oh, uh, it's fighting other things, though. It is fighting other things, so we can let it do its thing for a little bit. It'll also help to maybe clear the board. Um, might... Yeah, I mean, maybe after we've killed those things, we might want to salve. We don't really have the, the, the luxury of resting. Injured. Wounded. Why is this snail just kicking my butt? Because um, he's got he's an electric snail, and electric goes through AV. So they they tend to just absolutely nuke through AV. They don't do a lot of damage, but they do enough that it adds up. Where did he go? Yeah, where did he go? We can check on some of those corpses. Maybe we got lucky and it died. Nope, there it is. Oh, he's up there. And unfortunately, he's got another snail friend. Draw a bead. Sure fire. Uh, you hit it for 10 damage. Not bad. We're hoping for about, you know, six more of those. <laughs> but um, that's not bad at all. I'm still not... I'm... Hmm. What's, uh, what's the hang-up? I'm unconvinced I'm using my... Surefire. Are you hitting three? Yeah, and then it does this. Oh, you don't want to hit three on the numpad. You want to hit three on the on your keyboard. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Uh, Mark target. There mm. you go. And you credit it again. So yeah, you'll notice you're not not marked with it marked it on it anymore. But this is working out well, actually. You, uh, you got, you may have gotten unlucky with some of your previous dungeons. You got obscenely lucky with Golgotha. Golgotha is rarely speaking ever this open, and you just happen to have the one ability that lets you take advantage of this open floor. So you can you can keep doing this. Um, Golgotha's range, or sorry, uh, uh, the slog's range is quite limited. Um, it's devastating, but we have it beat for range. You're doing some really nice damage to it. You've already got it down to injured. Um, if you beat the slog, if you kill the slog on your first Golgotha run, that is honestly really impressive. It is wounded. Wounded. Oh, he's noticed. He's noticed me. Oh yeah, he's heading your way for sure, but I, I think you can honestly kill it before it gets to you. Badly wounded. Don't worry about that. You did it! You killed the slog! My goodness. So the, ins the inspiration to name an item. You can either name your electro bow or your polyhedral rings. Honestly, I... You can do what you want, but you can name it after the slog. After... Uh, I don't think I... You don't want to you don't want to do that like uh i don't know what it's gonna do but it'll be sloggy in nature 
Okay. The Summil Summil Clam Hibniticlam. Summil Clam Hiddlem Clam. It's fine. Yeah, whatever. I actually think that's legit. That is fantastic. The fact that you killed it with your Electro Bow and then you get to name your bow after the slog is it's just top tier that's that's like it doesn't get much better than that to be honest and you have free reign over the base floor of of golgotha like i can't underline just how great that is or understate i should say so you'll yeah, grab the uh way droid um do you have any experience right now? Definitely don't want to drink that stuff. Um, I don't think so. Did we spend it all? No, yeah, okay. Grab it. I want to get it. You, you can repair it. It, it. It's free to repair it. You, you need to repair it anyway, so you can repair it on the ground and then pick it up. There you go. And then uh, grab it. Perfect. You've done it. What? Uh, that is a dreadroot tuber. Useful. Worth picking up. There are definitely other things. Actually, uh, since you have free reign over the bottom floor of uh, Golgotha, there is almost uh, there's always guaranteed a chest with some cybernetics credits. So, um, worth knowing, and uh, we could definitely go find that. Uh, slog, the slog isn't the only danger here, but it is certainly the biggest danger. Um, you do have a snail, another snail flail. It might be worth uh, doing some sniping on that, just to get it out of the way. Yeah, they have a high AV. Makes it a pain. But they're only melee. So if you can do any damage, it's worth it. That's that's fine. You just killed. Uh, I mean, like, um, if you recall, I uh, I made a quite a big push for the the snail shell helm helmet. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons I love it as much as I do is uh, it gives you reputation with mollusks, and um, if you wear enough stuff like that, you can actually befriend the slog. So I was gonna say, um, like one, the reason I asked you if you had experience is uh, if we had trash divining night right now, it would help us uh, get quite a lot of secrets and stuff. Oh, a slender compound bow. That's an interesting one. Do I want either of these things? You could take them. Yeah, we can have a have a look at the compound bow. I don't know if it's better than the electro bow. I was gonna say if you do an. Uh, Auto explore, you're just gonna get a ton of stuff right now. Cause there's a lot of trash in the base of Golgotha. This place basically is like a trash place. It's like um a a abandoned factory. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's not good. Oh, you have a sore throat. Okay, I mean that was one of the few things we were trying to avoid. But um, it's not really something in your control. So uh, we'll worry about that when we get out of um, Golgotha. But we're just going to, you know, deal with these things as they come. You are poisoned. There's not really much you can do about that. You can't heal right now. Um, there's not really any dangers in, like, nearby. So you're okay. But... Uh, so yeah, this is just going to give you a bunch of free bits for tinkering. Nice. Should be okay. There's some voider spiders on this floor, but um, we don't have to worry about them too much. They're, they work much like other regular spiders, is they will only be aggro to you if you're like caught in webs. Or if you corner them, basically. You're famished. Uh, do I want to... This guy too, or just one is fine. Uh, no, just one is fine. You'll need need the one. Now we are 
uh, hungry, but we're gonna want to cook a specific meal when we get out, so we don't worry about it for now. Crack lens, failed energy relay. Good stuff. Pretty much done pilfering Golgotha of all of its goods. Yeah, I, I love taking scavenger, like tinkering and scavenging before I get here because it just means a bunch of uh, freebies. Oh, you're overburdened. We might have to disassemble a bunch of crap. Yeah. You could just disassemble all of those bent metal sheets and uh, that'll probably put you under the weight limit. Those those eels are quite the problem. They're basically like miniature slogs in their own way. This is the uh, the one the one bummer about it um, about this is like you're generally always at th in threat in in Golgotha, and so when you grab all that stuff, um, you don't automatically disassemble it, which means we have to we're back to this business. Oh, oh, your, uh, your steel plate mail got rusted. Damn. And I think I had you use your only <laughs> fix-it spray foam on, uh, on a fusion reactor. Oops. You monster. All right. Let's just, uh, yeah, you're, you're almost done here. Kill. All right. So you're going to want to go in that little room to the north. Or to your northwest. Oh, yeah, grab the... Sorry, go south a bit. You want to grab the uh, slog anunculus. I'm surprised it didn't auto-grab it, honestly. Um, you you butchered the slog into that, and it's an, in, it, it, kind of a rare item. Okay. All right, so you're going to want to stand on the bottom of those two s squares and then interact with the north one. There you go. It's an elevator. Well, all right. And then... Um, you're, this is the room that we couldn't get into, obviously. Uh, there is an, a panel that will open that door. All right. Before we close this episode, first of all, congratulations. You got through Golgotha with, like, some of the easiest time I've ever seen. Um, I'm pretty much a professional. I, I, you know, I mean, like, I, I don't disagree, honestly. But... Um, Here's a couple of uh, boxes that you might not know how to check, and we're going to do that right now. Um, and, I mean, uh, people listening at home are, are going to get some insight here, I think. First thing um, is we're going to want to go to our water and clean ourselves off. The, like, horrible liquids in Golgotha are definitely part of what makes it such a nightmare. So we're just going to use a dram and clean us off. And you're going to want to step outside of your tile there so that you're no longer standing in that sludge. Then we're going to make a campfire. And you're going to cook from a recipe. We're going to cook the... Uh, we're going to want to scroll down, actually. Yeah. Um, keep going. I think it might have been... Yeah, our very first recipe. Uh, Bavent Man sautéed vine wafer and apple couscous with donut. So for those at home, um, this is a recipe you can make with star apple jam and vine water sheaf um, that lets you basically shed your negative effects. Um, part of, One of those negative effects is sore throat. Sore throat develops into a really, really horrible disease, and getting it is almost game ruining. Um, I've had to live with it, and it really sucks. Um, we, you can get rid of it, but... Uh, We'd rather nip it in the bud now. So we're going to drink a bunch of water to try and shed one of our our negative effects and um, basically stop uh, slog mouth from developing. So you're going to want to just like drink a bunch of water until we don't have sore throat anymore. Ah, refreshing. So yeah, we'll just we'll just do this a bunch until we don't see sore throat anymore. Even if you throw up, it's better than the the alternative. Like, honestly, in a way, this isn't, like, yeah, that's fine. This isn't, honestly, like, um, too far from the truth. Like, if you came out of Golgotha, this horrible abandoned factory, and you were feeling unwell, there you go. You would uh, probably want to do something not, not unlike this. So you got rid of Sore Throat, you got rid of the worst part of Golgotha, and um, we're done. We can... Um, 
we can recoil back to Gritgate, and uh, maybe in the next episode we will continue the actual story and adventure. Yeah, I wanna. Yeah. Oh goodness. That's all good. Nice. All right. Do you have any closing thoughts? We sure did. Well, got the, got the out of. Nope, I got nothing. All right. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.